tabloids and trending topics with T. <clears throat> when keeping it real <laughs> goes wrong. Shout out to Dave Chappelle for that. So I want to talk about um, first and foremost, I think we all know that the racial climate in the world today it uh, has definitely gotten heightened. Um, and there's absolutely no way. Well, I mean, there's a way that you can deny it. But if you so choose to, I can't really say too much to convince anybody otherwise. Even if I sit here and give you facts and statistics and whatnot, it's not going to change certain individuals' minds who do not believe that. But it is such a thing. So, there's a few things that I do want to talk about. And, and I'm going to try my best to not go too too deep in and you know just kind of give what i can honestly and what i try to do in general when i'm doing my you know trending topic segment that we're watching especially when i'm tackling uh topics that are very controversial and risque is to try to give you get will give those of you who are watching the different perspectives and then give you my perspective because ultimately your opinion is going to be your opinion <clears throat> i am someone where i try to see the different you know aspects as obscure as they may be and then from there you know formulate my own opinion based of what it is that i have now for some of this <laughs> there's really no way to ration out any of this but i just want to kind of give you guys that and if you don't believe me you can watch not the previous episode of this for today but if you walk, go back and watch uh, some of the other videos that i've done you'll see that i try my best to you know give you all the different vantage points and then give you mine so i want to start off by talking about a uh, todd shaw actually before i talk about him what i'll do is i'll play a clip and we'll come back and talk about Next, former assistant police chief tells an LMPD recruit to, quote, shoot black people. WDRB's Katrina Helmer tonight explains how the disturbing Facebook messages came to light and why the officer wasn't fired right away. Katrina. These messages are graphic, racist, and sexual. But Prospect's mayor says he had to follow the Policeman Bill of Rights before taking any action. Dark secret words uncovered probably the most disgusting thing I've seen come out of the mouth of a police officer. While looking into another criminal investigation, Jefferson County Attorney Mike O'Connell discovered these private Facebook messages between now former Assistant Police Chief of Prospect Todd Shaw and an LMPD recruit. A meme shows Elmer Fudd with a gun and an offensive sign. Another shows a boy with a disability wearing a shirt with a racial slur. Anyone who shares such blatant uh, racist views should not be given a badge or a gun. In another message, the recruit asks what to do if he catches juvenile smoking marijuana. Shaw responds, F the right thing. If black, shoot them. Then Shaw suggests having sex with the juvenile's parents. Unless daddy is black, then shoot him. How could, how could anybody say these things? The Prospect Police Department hired Shaw, a former LMPD officer, in 2012. He had a clean record. Then August 31st of last year, the Jefferson County attorney sent Prospect Mayor John Evans this letter, including parts of the Facebook messages. And I was shocked. Evans immediately told the Prospect police chief, who put Shaw on paid suspension for nearly three months while he investigated the Facebook messages. Oh, he had to take time because there was a lot of material to go through. Then November 20th, the police chief had an interview with Shaw, and that's when Shaw resigned. Why wasn't he fired as soon as you guys found out? Because the law doesn't work that way. Mayor Evans says he knew Shaw. My only impression of Todd was that he was a bit of a character. But the mayor says there was nothing to give him any inclination Shaw would say things like this, and he got choked up talking about it. This is, I know, upsetting for you. Very, very. I'm so proud of this town. Does it hurt? Yes. 24 cases involving Shaw as an officer are expected to be dismissed because of these messages. The effect it has on the criminal justice system, if this goes unnoticed and unchecked, is extraordinarily serious and could affect rights of a lot of people. But We got blindsided. That's what it is. We just got blindsided. 
The LMPD recruit involved in these messages is no longer with the department. Shaw fought to keep these messages private, but a judge decided to release them. Reporting live in Prospect, I'm Katrina Helmer, WDRB News. So, we all know <laughs> that there, again, is a, it's a high racial climate right now. We also do know whether, well, I'll say this, for those who are, you know, minorities, and more or less for those who are of a darker complexion, more or less the African Americans, bummed that for the Africans, damn it, we all that, for the Africans and for those who are Muslim and of the Islamic faith. Definitely, we get it bad, we get it hard. And if you don't believe me, check the statistics. This is in no way, shape, or form what I'm about to say to sit here and take away from the fact that people from other demographics also get it bad. Because they do. There are definitely reports of children, adults of various, various different ethnic and racial backgrounds that do end up suffering a very, very horrible fate because of police brutality and racial profiling. So we're not going to pretend as if that doesn't exist. I'm not saying that it doesn't. But what I can only do is focus on my people. Because I am black. Because I am African. Okay. Apparently, it shocked some people to, <clears throat> well, for, you know, the chief and everything, it shocked him because of the person. There are some people that is shocked that, oh my gosh, I cannot believe that this rhetoric is out there and that you have somebody saying, if they are black, shoot them. But I can. I honestly can. And again, we're not going to pretend as if white supremacy does not exist. Because it does. We're not going to pretend that you know certain people who happen to be white. And again, I'm not saying that all white people are bad. So please miss me with that. But for those who are white supremacists, many of them tend to hold high positions of power. A lot of them belong to the KKK, the Ku Klux Klan. And it is a reason why they wear those white hoods. Because if you saw who they were, many of them would lose their jobs for fear of reprimand. Because of the hatred that they have in their hearts. Even though we are in a certain, in a particular climate right now where... It comes off as if it's okay. You definitely have those that they are not going to play that game. So, yes, there are a lot of people in the KKK that happen to be <clears throat> police officers, officials, things of that nature. You don't believe me? Research it. If you choose not to research it, and you just want to sit here and you want to come for me in the comments, that is perfectly fine. Okay, I have thick skin. What I ask that you do not do is do not, do not, do not argue with <clears throat> other people in the comments. Because here's the thing, I am man enough and bold enough to show you my face and say what it is that I have to say. But more often than not, it's somebody who is not willing to show their face that wants to say something. If you want to say th something to me, by all means, please do. But please do not sit here and attack anybody that follows me and those that understand where I'm coming from and that I am of pure heart. Because in that moment, you will get blocked. <laughs> Now, if you want to sit here and call me any name you want to call me or you want to sit here and just spew hate at me, perfectly fine. Just don't do that to anybody else in the comments because that's not what we're here for. <clears throat> but do I necessarily agree with the measures that are being taken by that particular police department? No, I do not. But I'm not there. But again, this is to show that this is happening. This is just one of many. And the fact that this has come out, I am very happy. Am I happy that this guy lost his job? Yeah, yes the fuck I am. I'm not going to pretend that I'm not. Because this type of hate, this type of rhetoric, does not need to be out there. And you might have somebody who happens to be a white officer that may not have this ideology about black people. But because his superior is telling him to do something that he knows is morally wrong. But hey, this is what I'm being told to do. And I got to secure my job, secure that bag. I'm just going to do it. So this is further breeding hate. We'll come back to that. Because this is when keeping it real goes wrong, right? We'll come back to that. 
I also want to bring up a <clears throat> Harley Barber. She is uh, 19 years old and she was expelled for some very, very racist and derogatory comments. Want to play that clip? We're going to come back and we're going to talk about it. 19-year-old Harley Barber has gone viral for all the wrong reasons. I hate so that's really interesting. I hate The University of Alabama student is at the center of a firestorm after posting racially charged videos on Instagram where she repeatedly used the N-word among other profanities. PIX11 has chose to blur out her Instagram handle as it too may be offensive to some viewers. But I just saved the by shutting that water off, so jump on it, jump on this. After receiving backlash for that first video posted on what appeared to be over the weekend, instead of apologizing, Barbara, a member of Alpha Phi Sorority and a New Jersey native, posted a second video with even more shocking language. You know what? <laughs> no, I don't no care if it's Martin Luther King Day. I'm in the South now. So everyone can off. I'm from New Jersey. She so is. So I can say as much as I want. Even though the videos, along with most of her social media accounts, have been deleted or set to private, the damage was already done. The University of Alabama, where Barber is believed to be a freshman, issued a statement calling the remarks ignorant and disturbing, and say they in no way reflect the values of the University of Alabama. A spokesperson for Alpha Phi also issued a statement condemning the videos confirming to PIX11, Miss Barber is no longer a member of Alpha Phi. Barber, who has ties to Marlton, New Jersey, in Evesham Township, told the New York Post she feels bad and is so sorry. I did something really, really bad. I don't know what to do and I feel horrible. I'm wrong and there's just no excuse for what I did, she said. She confirmed to the Post she had been expelled from the University of Alabama and was on her way home back to New Jersey. Now, as of tonight, the videos have been shared and viewed tens of thousands of times on social media. We reached out to the University of Alabama and Alpha Phi for further comment on whether any action will be taken against other students seen and heard laughing in the videos. We did not get a response. Live in the newsroom, I'm Andrew Ramos, PIX11 News. All right. <clears throat> Before I talk about this, I do want to say reference to Todd Shaw. I really don't have any <laughs> advice to give this individual. And all that I can say is this, what's done in dark will come to light. That's all that I can say. And Karma is definitely a bitch. Shade is her sister. That's all I can say. <laughs> Alright, and if not, and also Petty is her mother. You know, that that's, that's what it is. But for this young lady, <clears throat> so you're from New Jersey. And for whatever reason, being in New Jersey, you you felt whatever it is that you felt. Being from New Jersey, I guess you did not feel empowered in any way, shape, or form to speak your mind. Yet you go to Alabama. And you feel because you are in the South that you can say whatever it is that you want to say. And... You then say you don't care that it's Martin Luther King Day. And then you drop the N-word bomb. Not in an A, in an ER. And though people may not agree with it, yeah, I'm sorry. If you're not black, I don't agree with you saying it. Me personally, I really don't care what you say to me. Because more, because like I said, I do understand that more often than not, people say things because they want a reaction. And you have a lot of people that still view black people, Africans, as beasts, as animals, as uneducated, you know, not equaling up to a whole person. And more often than not, you have people that will say certain things because they want their reaction. They want you to prove them right. So if you feel empowered by calling me out of my name, everything other than what my name is, then by all means, say what it is that you want to say. I just can't guarantee that the next black person, the next African, is going to be so inclined to let you pass. <clears throat> and for those who want to sit here and say double standards, right quick, let me address that. If you have a family member, 
pretty sure we say very horrible things about family. I know I do. Like I said, right now, me and my eldest brother, we are not on the best of terms right now. But I can assure you that if anybody came up on some very disrespectful shit about my brother, I'm going to go from not liking him in that moment to at that moment he and I both doing what it is we got to do, handling our business. And then when it's all said and done, going back to not saying it. I know there are some brothers or even some sisters that call the other one a bitch or whatever. And that's what they do because they're siblings. But when you have somebody that is not a part of the family to come up and call said family member what you just call them, yes, you are probably going to lose your whole front grill because it's not accepted. Regardless of how derogatory it may be, is it a double standard? Yes, it is. By all means, it is. But please let us not <clears throat> forget it's certain things that is allowed within family families and things that are not. So, back to this. <clears throat> you feel so inclined to drop the N-word and whatnot. And she had gotten mad because, you know, people were, you know, trying to stop her from being in this sorority and whatnot. And just had a whole lot to say. And here we are to where it has gone viral because we are in a age right now where you really can't say or do anything and don't think that there's not a record of it. Trust me, <laughs> I know. But you do all of this and you're not going to get on a person because I can slightly, slightly give you a pass if you go on a person. You're going on against a whole demographic. Now, she has thus been kicked out of said sorority. And allegedly, apparently, she is expelled. So, to her, this is what I'm going to say. First and foremost, <clears throat> Everything you got is a very, very fucking lie. Because so much more can be done. So much more. Now, what I'm going to say to you is the same thing that I will say to so many different people. Is, I know how it is to sit here and record something live. I do. I do. And things go viral the way that it does. And the backlash that comes with it. But it's one thing when you talk about a person. It's another thing when you talk about a whole group, a whole demographic, Right? In addition to that, you also need to ask yourself the company in which you keep. Because there were other people that were there. They not only egged you on, none of them once said, Hey, you might not want to put that on social media. But you did. So that right there, if I can say anything to you, be weary of the company that you keep because as it stands nothing has happened to those females and if it if something has we haven't been notified about it that's the only thing that i can really say to you that and also watch your back definitely watch your back because you you pissed off a whole damn group with what it was that you had to say watch your back <laughs> and lastly Actually, I'm not even going to talk about this other situation. Screw this dude. All I'm going to say is there's a YouTuber named uh, Kian Lawley. If you are African, if you are black, just unsubscribe from him. Because <clears throat> since he had so much to say, dropping in bombs about Kool-Aid and all the other stuff, just, just unsubscribe from him. I'm not going to give him any more than that. <clears throat> but before I continue with the when keeping it wrong, I'm sorry, when, keep, when keeping it real goes wrong, <clears throat> to both of them, Freedom of speech. And to everybody that's watching. Freedom of speech. We definitely do have it. But you have to remember that you just can't say anything. And there not be repercussions. You have freedom of speech all day long. Many of us abuse it. You have so many that are spineless. That do not have the reproductive organs to show their face or just verbally say what they have to say but hide behind a false picture or just no picture at all. But you do have freedom of speech. <clears throat> but you have to understand that for every action there is an equal or greater reaction. You can't walk up to somebody and sit here. You can't walk up to a man and disrespect his wife 
and not at least expect to get punched in the face. You can't. You can't walk up to somebody and say something about their mom and not expect to get the daylights beat off of you. You can't. You can't sit here and say something about the president. You can't threaten the president and say you want to kill him and do all this other stuff and not expect Secret Service to be at your door and possibly lock you up. You have every right to say whatever it is that you want to say. But don't forget <clears throat> that there is a consequence to the freedom that you have to say what it is that you have to say. Because I can guarantee you for a lot of people that are very reckless, if you were in a different part of the world trying to say what it is that you are saying, many of you would either be in jail or dead. And this is not me being funny. This is me being real. Okay. And like I said, I've lived on three different continents right now. So I definitely know what I'm talking about. All right. Check facts. So, <clears throat> and also just to kind of further, I guess, push the envelope. For those who think that the racial climate in this world is not bad, I have a couple videos for you. You, and I don't give a damn. A Do you think you're, a, you're a racist person, and you're I'm not going back to I'm, my country. I'm American. Okay, I'm I don't American. care. You're no, not American. What are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? We're gonna Bitch. kill all of you. Okay. We're gonna kill, kill every one of you. Muslims. You're fat. You can't do anything. It has nothing you to do. You can't do anything. Here I'm making a video, and I'm gonna show Make it to the police. Car. I'm gonna show it to the police. Okay. A you fat. The police. A Why are you in our country anyway? I'm gonna call the police. Why are you in our country anyway? If I speak you know, English you know, and then if I'm American, get the f out of my face. You're the fun f one that's stupid. F you. Go, go back to Asia. Go back to Asia. Go Let's nuke back you. to your whole asshole. Trump, God bless Trump. We're gonna nuke you guys. F you. F you. F you. You're ugly and you have a flat face and an ugly nose. Flat face and an ugly then nose. Why are you talking to me, asshole? Flat, flat then face why and the f are you talking to me? Flat face and ugly nose. And guess what? You guys have small dicks. Try to beat that. You can't. Try getting laid, asshole. And the last thing from this segment, <clears throat> keeping the real goals wrong, is <clears throat> it's one thing to do a lie. It is another thing to record yourself, speak so fast, <clears throat> do a horrible editing job, sit here and take on the personality of somebody else because it's absolutely not yours, not only their mannerisms, but also their editing style. And now realize that you have put your foot in your mouth. So, <clears throat> with the Queen's Court. Again, I'm not giving my commentary on that just yet. Because I really want everything to come to light. And they also have their uh, episode coming out later on today. <clears throat> I won't see it until the morning time. Because again, I'm in Europe. So, there is a time difference. So, I'm going to try to catch it live. And see what comes of it. But when they had technical difficulties last Monday <clears throat> and Kai walked out, Justin J1232 decided that he wanted to talk about it. And he had this to say. Let these folks confuse you. You already own uh, queenscourt.com because 
I was gonna buy that whole, I'm one of them girls, I would buy a domain in a minute and turn around and tell your ass, is you hungry? I see you looking at this domain that I own and I wanna eat. Girl, I want 2,000, okay? Put that shit on the docket. Girl, they had a Now, I don't know if you were speaking so fast or whatever the fuck that it was, <clears throat> but <clears throat> for you to be the same as that person that is a feminist, your supporter, for you to also be the same exact person that have told other black male YouTubers to refrain from talking about the Monique situation <clears throat> because that is a woman, obviously a black woman. You felt so inclined to talk about a trans woman, a part of your community, and a woman, Kaya, and had the audacity to say that you were thinking about buying their domain name in January, because of course when the 22nd hit in December, that was for Christmas, and it was either December or January, I'm sorry, but whichever one it was, you waited <clears throat> to try and buy the queenscourt.com. Only to find out that they bought themselves, trademarked all the good jazz, because your intent was to try to exploit them and try to blackmail them and get $2,000 off of them. So you spoke so fast that you said that. Didn't even think to edit out of your videos. <clears throat> and you're following. They are so blind that they overlooked that whole entire portion. They overlooked all of that because they thought that you were sitting here giving such great advice when you were being very, very vile and low down. Crab in the bucket mentality, to say the least. <clears throat> and part of me feels that you are only doing it because you want to be on the docket. Because if you're on the docket, then that means that they're going to bring some life to your fucking channel. Because if there was ever a channel where there's a person that thrives off of beef <clears throat> and getting those views because you live for the 22nd, this would do it. I truly, truly hope that they don't. Because this is a good example when keeping it real goes wrong. And of course, other YouTubers have sat here and drug your eyes all the way to fuck through the streets. Only thing I can say to you is, don't go chasing waterfalls. Please stick to the rivers and the lakes that you used to. That's all I got to say for when keeping it real goes wrong. I have one last uh, topic to talk about, and that is Justin Timberlake. I'll be right back.